what is going on guys Juno Sloth here and I just wanted to quickly recap sneak peeks 4 and 5 that we got this weekend. Not loads of depth to go into on these ones so I'll keep it as brief as possible and the sneak peeks we got on Saturday are on the screen there now. First up the village size is getting bigger so Town Hall 11 is coming with that is going to come new buildings and the, it's already getting a bit cramped as it is so right now you have a 40 by 40 square village this is going to be expanded to a 44 by 44 square village and maybe you changed your base around a bit you managed to get your halloween cauldron to spawn on the outside don't worry this will be pushed to the outside of your newly expanded village and with these added buildings and new things to destroy we are getting a longer attack time so this is across the board whether it's war or whether it's in your regular multiplayer the amount of time will be extended to 3 minutes and 30 seconds and the attack time is something that I've talked to people about a number of times before but I would personally like to see this customized to your town hall level and the town hall level that you're attacking. So this would work similar to the loot penalty in that your attack time would be reduced if you were attacking a town hall lower than you but increased if you were attacking a town hall above you. So for example if you were a town hall 10 attacking another town hall 10 you would get the 3 minutes and 30. However, if you drop down to a Town Hall 9, you would only get 3 minutes. 2 minutes 30 for a Town Hall 8, etc, etc. If you were a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10, you would gain an extra 30 seconds, so you would get 4 minutes to attack. And obviously you would get to the point where you would have to set a cap, so let's say the lower end of the spectrum could be 1 minute or 1 minute 30, and the higher end could be, say, 5 minutes. So that's just an idea that I've had for a while now, and I think it would mainly benefit those lower levels that are attacking up, but I think they would get that well-deserved boost. The only people I think it would probably affect in a negative way is if you decided to make your village a 0.5. Obviously then you might be giving the attacker more time, however I think it's just something you would have to take into consideration if you did decide to become a 0.5 base. So enough rambling of my ideas, back to the sneak peeks. The forum exclusive sneak peek is that war preparation day is going to be reduced from 24 hours to 23 hours. So the entire war period is going to be slightly less than two days. And I think that's just so that if you decided to, you could start war at the exact same time every time you searched. And it would mean you would just get that extra hour to regroup before you click the search button again. Moving on to the sneak peeks from today, how exciting is this one? We will now be able to donate spells. And I know this is something that kind of went round as a rumour a few months back, but yes, it has now been confirmed. You will now be able to receive one dark spell along with your castle troops. This will be given just as if it's one of your own spells so you can place it anywhere on the map. You'll see on the screen there now he has received an earthquake spell. Let me know down below in the comments what you think will be most beneficial. To be honest, I think there's probably an argument for any of the Dark Elixir spells that we have right now. But it just means maybe you can take a stronger Poison spell in order to get the castle troops down quicker. You might be able to take one of your clanmates Earthquake spells as well in order to do some extra damage. Or maybe if you're doing a Balloonian attack, you can take an extra Haste spell. I'm sure there will be lots of new strategies come out from this. But it's basically just going to provide a benefit for us all in the long run. You'll also see that along with this, we are getting a brand new improved donation screen where we can finally see what is already in the person's clan castle. So no more having to go to their village in order to see what they've already been donated. We will be able to see if they request multiple troops, which ones they already have. The forum exclusive sneak peek today, very minor but I can recall a number of times when this would have helped me. It is that the next button is going to have a safety area around it. So basically all this is, when you're searching in matchmaking, if you go to click next and you accidentally miss it, currently a troop will be deployed and then you are stuck in that battle. You might lose a bunch of trophies. Now, if you just miss the next button, there will be an area around it which will do nothing and it will basically just save you from accidentally dropping a troop. So that's going to wrap it up for the weekend of sneak peeks, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As ever, make sure to subscribe for all the latest Clash news and content. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.